Tesla has about $11 billion of debt. People are expecting them to be paying down that debt as they've promised to do. They could potentially take some of the money from this $5 billion stock offering and significantly cut their debt. Are we going to see more of this, the idea of companies selling stock to pay down debt in a reversal of what we have seen over the previous years where they've sold debt to buy shares? Uh, Lisa, I think that that is a possibility, but not at Tesla. Uh, I don't think Tesla is going to be paying down debt. Every time I talk to management, really? they are focused on growth and you know paying down debt as it matures. Now, you have to also remember that a lot of the debt that they have are convertible that are well in the money. So, you know, like it, it's not it's kind of quasi debt, I, I guess is the way I would describe it. But they had the ability to call in uh, their big 5.3 percent note offering uh, last month, and they passed on it, which is very true to uh, the commitment and the words that they've uh, described before. So I think this is really more for growth. Maybe it's to build out the infrastructure network faster or to, you know, like uh, work on a finance company or more meaningful finance company. I think this is really uh, more of a growth tool than a um, – and a debt reduction uh, catalyst. Okay, uh, for which goes to the whole hope prospect of Tesla. Based on your conversations with management, based on what they have proven so far about production, do you view this stock sale as well as what they are likely to do with that money to invest in growth to be a positive story from a credit fundamentals perspective? Oh, 100%, yes. It's definitely a positive for credit. Um, and it, it, it's a company that is not looking to repurchase shares, obviously, uh, but really to build out its business. And as that business strengthens, it, the credit goes with it. So I think this is a, a very good credit story right now. 